Hey everybody, um, we've talked about the different aspects of internet searching and the things that we can do there, but I want to make sure that we don't forget about the books um, and how to use our Dewey system when we want to do a research project like the one we are doing for our precipitation project. So it's not just the internet. Um, back in the good old days, before the internet, we did research using books. Books are broken up basically into two different categories. You've got fiction books and you've got nonfiction books. Okay, of course, we all know that fiction books are fake, fantasy, made up, and of course, nonfiction are real. Um, nonfiction books are broken up even more using a number system called the Dewey Decimal System. And you can find the type of book you're looking for if you understand these numbers. Now, on the spine of nonfiction books, you will find the Dewey Decimal number. Okay, the, the triple zeros, the first ones, were called generalities. Okay, information and fact books can be found here. A lot of the Guinness Book of World Record and the 100 Grossest Things books that you guys enjoy are found in this section. Encyclopedias can also be found here. Okay, encyclopedias are books that contain information on many different subjects. Um, this information is arranged in alphabetical order by volume and page. Okay, so for example, if you're doing research on rain, you would look in the volume that contains RA. The 100s you'll find philosophy and psychology. Okay? Philosophy is a search for wisdom and truth. Different philosophy books can give you different views of life and the world around us. Psychology is the study of the mind and what makes people do what they do. And you can also find books about dreams and the occult, like ghost stories and stuff here. And I know a lot of you guys enjoy reading those ghost stories, especially around Halloween. Um, you can find those here. The 200s, you'll find books about religion. Um, any type of different religion that is out there you can, can be found in the 200s. And your library should contain a variety of books discussing the different religions of the world. The 300s, <clears throat> we call these the social sciences, um, books about government, economics, the law, um, third graders last year. Y'all looked up books here about the three branches of government. So that would be found here. Um, students can also find really cool books about the soldiers, a lot of the army books, and the Coast Guard books that I've been checking in recently can be found in the 300 section. The 400s are the languages. So if you're looking to learn a new language, these books can be found in this section. Um, this section will be particularly helpful to you when you end up going to high school and have to take a foreign language. 500 is the science. This is the section that I spend a lot of my time in, um, getting resources for our STEM class. Um, this section contains books about all the different sciences, um, astronomy, chemistry, earth science, plants, animal books can be found here. Um, you can also find math books here, just in case you're looking for them. Technology books. Due to the changes in technology, this section probably changes the most. Uh, we are supposed to weed or get rid of technology books every few years just because the technology is not around anymore or it has upgraded. You can also find books here about inventions and medicine, engineering, buildings, agriculture, all kind of stuff can be found in the 600 sections. Maybe you wanted to help someone cook a meal, find the recipe. Cookbooks can be found here too. So the 600s really has a variety of things to check out. The 700s, <clears throat> the arts and recreation section, 
Um, if you're looking about looking for books about paintings or sculptures, this might be your place. Drawing books I know are very popular among elementary age students. Um, those can be found here. Books about music, sports, photography, all can be found here. Um, you might even think about this section as being the hobby section. The 800s, different types of literature. Um, that can't be found in the fiction section can be found here. And this includes essays, speeches, plays, poetry. Um, more for elementary school for us, uh, it would probably be more plays and poetry. But in the public library, you would find essays and speeches and all kinds of cool stuff. And the 800s are also broken up into different languages. So, for example, if you're looking for French poetry, you would find in the 840s. German poetry would be in another section. Italian poetry would be in another section of the 800s. The 900s, you have history and geography, another section that is chock full of stuff. Um, if you need a book to do a report on the Civil War, this is a section you need to look. Each section of the 900s is broken up by region. So if you need a book around the if you need a book, excuse me, about the American Civil War, you need to go to the 970s. Um, African history, European history, Asian history all have a different section in the 900s. Um, you may also find a lot of biographies here. Biographies are found in 921, and they are arranged alphabetically by the subject's last name. So if you want a book about Abraham Lincoln, you would find that before a book about Jackie Robinson. <clears throat> and that's pretty much the Dewey system. Um, it's, bro it's broken down by number category so that any type of nonfiction book that you're looking for can be easily found if you understand the Dewey system. Just remember, the Internet is a wonderful place to find information about a subject. Just don't forget about print materials when you're doing research. Sometimes there's a lot of websites out, are, out there that are unreliable, not credible. The person maybe didn't do their research or they just typed in some stuff. Books aren't like that because books had to be edited, resources checked. Um, so they might be a little bit more reliable than some of the stuff that is on the Internet. So just keep that in mind. Um, even in the day and age where we can access the internet from our telephones, just remember that books and print materials are still out there to help you out. They are a good source to find information that you're looking for. So good luck and happy hunting.